you are going away from my topic and you did not answer anything. Oh, what I'm ask, asking, uh, first, do you know what Allah means? You said he is love the Jalala. Is a, is a, a, a says of respect. What does that mean? Nothing. You don't know, right? Just say it. Say it. Show to everybody. I don't know what Allah means. Just say it. Very simple. Do you know what Allah mean? Do that. Do you know what Allah mean? No, this is false. Because if Allah means God, you don't say there is no God but Allah. Because you are saying there is no God but God. This is the most stupid statement you say. When Muslim even they translate from, from Arabic to English, they say there is no God but Allah. They don't say there is no God but God. Because if the word Allah means God, then you translate it as God too. But you don't translate Allah. You don't translate it. You say Allah. For it is not a word mean God. It is a name. Let me ask you a question very simple. Is it a name or a word mean God? Brudet. Is it a name or a word mean God? Go ahead. Okay. I will explain to you, CP. I have no problem. When we said La ilaha illallah, that means there is no God, but only Allah, you know that's why? Because uh, Quraysh trip was taking another God, taking idols, okay, as God. So Thank you. This is me. Muslim have no name for their God. According to you, Allah is a word meaning God, and until now, Muslim do not know the name of their God. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Say yes. You Muslims do not know the name of your God? Is that what you are saying? You know, we heard you. You said it's not a word. Okay, everybody saw in your text. Everybody heard you. That Allah is just a word being God. This is mean the people of Quraysh, they have Allah too. The pagan, they have Allah too. Because it's a word being God. Do you agree with that or not? You might. No, I don't. The tribe of Quraysh have idols to worship, and they took it as God. No, according to you, they took it as Allah, because you are the one who said Allah is a word being God. Correct, people? As long as they have a God, and Allah is a word being God, it means they have Allah. How come when it is for Muslim, you say it is God, is Allah. When when it is not, you say, no, it's not Allah. You see, you are being hypocrite now. Either you accept what you said five minutes ago, that Allah is just a word meaning God, or you say, this is the name for the God of the Muslims. Let me expose what you are saying. What is the first name of the names of the God of Islam? Do you want to show you links? Do you want to show you fatwa? Do you want me? Do you want to show you a hadith from your prophet? You see, Brudef, those games you can play with those Western who have no idea what Islam is about. You can play them with me. Isn't it your prophet? He said that this is from the Asma Allah al Husna. Did he say? He, did he say it? it's a name? Asma. So don't say it's not, it's just a word meaning God. Because right now you, you look really bad in the front of everybody. When you say it's just a word meaning God, and then I say to you, okay, so then the pagan, they have Allah too. You said no. So for the last time, I'm asking you, what is the name? Okay, you know what? I will go with you. What is the name of your God? If Allah is a word, mean God. All right. Everybody heard you saying that. I want you to tell me the name of your God. If Allah is a word, mean God, it's not a name. So what is the name of your God? You might. So, like I told you, just pick an example. Greek mythology, they have many gods, gods of the sun, gods of the water, gods of whatever. Okay, if we translate this in Arabic, how it will sound, CP, Ilaha Shams. Why you are going in circle, bro? You see why I'm giving you a dot? You are not answering. You said, and everybody is my witness, you said Allah is a word being God. I'm asking you now, so what is the name of your God? 
Everybody's heard you. It's in the text too. Allah is a word mean God. All right. So what is the name of your God? Allah mean God, no problem. Now give me the name of your God. Because God is not a name. It's a generic word you can use for any God. The God of the pagan, the God of the Christian, the God of the uh, 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 Muslims, the God of the Hindus. It doesn't matter. It's a God. It can be used in every language. So now, what is the name of your God? Give me the name. Your mind. Okay, you want to play? My God is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. This is the name of my God. So how are you gonna? How are you gonna say? How? How come Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim became your God names, and Allah is not? This is funny. You see, the chapter number one in the Quran it says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This Abdul he chose the last two words only to be the name of his God. The first one is not. <laughs> <laughs> you are extremely smart uh, uh, you said that Allah is not a name in the front of the room if you can give me a proof from Islamic reference that Allah is not the name of your God I promise you I will close my room right now right here is that fair people is that fair because with my respect to you, one of us is lying. Either you or me. Can you provide me with the proof that Allah is not a name? And I can provide you with a lot of Islamic websites saying Allah is the name of the God of Islam. I can right now. Can you provide me the same? Can you provide me from your Islamic website a proof according to Islamic teaching that Allah is not a name? No mind. So, Allahu lafzu jalala. And if you want to make i'rab for it, la mahalla lahu min al i'rab. Just to be clear, okay? And Ar Rahman al Rahim, because you are not that smart in Arabic, Ar Rahman al Rahim are not names, are attributes. Okay, ACP? Just to make it clear for you. It's amazing how smart you are. You are the one who said Ar Rahman al Rahim is names, not me. Guys, did I ask him? So, what is the name of your God? Your God, if Allah is not a name, he said Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. It's him who said they are names, not me. Did you forget what you said? Are oh, you meant Sifat? Ah, so you use the word name wrongly. Ah, so until now we are still searching for the name of your God. Are you saying that? So again, so what is the name of your God? So Ar Rahman Ar Rahim is not name of your God. Okay. So what is the name of your God? In text, in text, because later you will change your mind. Before I give you the mic, what is the name of your God? Can you give me the name? I'm waiting. What is the name of your God? The creator of the universe, this is his name. Guys, the God of Islam, his name is the creator of the universe. <laughs> well, this is attribute, you idiot. Isn't it? This is one of the 99 attributes, Al Khaliq. Hello. So, what we got from Brudeth, until now, he did not know what is the name of his God. Isn't it amazing? Because now in the, they are in the corner. They are trying to get rid of Allah. Allah is not the name of their God no more. Suddenly, Allah is no one. It's just a word mean God. You see how we make them ashamed of their Allah? Did you notice? They are not proud about Him no more. Allah is no one. He's just a word mean God. It's nothing. It's not important. And not only this, the Muslims don't have a name for their God no more. That's it. Allah is nameless. A policeman will stop the name that the, uh, Allah in the street. He will say to him, uh, "Your name, uh, 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 your name, uh, uh, your name, man. What's wrong with you? Your name. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Allah. Allah means God. This is not your name. What's your name? 
uh, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. This is attribute, right? So what's your name? Uh, 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 can, I, can I call Dr. Phil? Uh, because he, he, you know, um, he is my uh, shrink. Did you see a shrink go there? What happened? You are the one who said to us, you are insisting for the last hour that Allah is not a name. So we are asking, what is the name of your God? You see how shameful you are? Suddenly Allah is not a name because we discovered that Allah is the moon God. This is why you are trying to get away from it. What love Jalala? I'm asking you what the name. So is it a name or not? Allah is love Jalala. He stuck with this. Allah is love Jalala. It's a it's a say of respect. Okay, so and is it a name or not? You said no. Karudi <laughs> Yuma. Uh, Christian, you know, at the beginning, I thought that you are trying to to make a point and you are looking for the truth. But I mean, after that, and I'm going with you, I'm saying that you are, you know, you are playing us like a linguistic game and you are not looking for the truth. Like I told you, it's, I mean, it's not a very problem if you say Allah in Arabic or if you say Khude in Kurdish or Khuda in Persian. Okay, can you show me the word you said in the Quran? It's not a problem, right? Can we put the word you mentioned in the Quran instead of Allah? Can we do that, you might? Yes, at, at the beginning, I told you, let's agree with you that, for example, La is the name, and let's say that Al Alifulam is, um, is like there in English and but I mean I just I, I wanted to come with you you know to, to just to follow you what point are you trying to make and I thought that you are really looking for something but now we are playing uh, linguistic games and you are escaping escaping from the truth I mean it's not very important what do you mean I'm from truth? I have one question I keep insist to ask it. Okay, you know what? What is the name of the God of Islam? You are saying you can use Khudai in Kurdish? Okay, no problem. What is the name of the God of Islam? So you can replace Allah by Khudai. Okay, replace him. Forget about Allah. So what is the name of the God of Islam? Yomar. Dear Christian, I told you, I told you, the most important thing is to, you know, Allah or Khude or Khuda, all of these things are like, it's, it's a name to, to mention to the Adhat al-Ilahiyya, to the... No, 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 no. There is a name for the God of Islam. Are you saying to me the God of Islam doesn't have a name? Because I can show you your prophet saying that Allah is the name of God. It looks like you Muslims, you understand Islam more than your prophet. Amazingly, seriously. How come you Muslims really knows this more than Muhammad? That's really amazing. Can you come with the proof that the word Allah is important? <clears throat> As I said, if you can, Prove to me that the word Allah means nothing but, as you said, a al ilahiyya, which means it's not a name of God. I will close my room. Is that fair, people? How many times I said that? I will close my my room. 
just to prove it to me. You see, you are saying I am just uh, playing around. I'm not playing around. You Muslims are the one who play around. Your God Allah, He named Himself by Allah in the Quran. <clears throat> when we ask you what Allah mean, you say Azza wa Jalla. What does that mean? This is not a meaning. Ar Rahman. It's about Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. It's about the mercy and the merciful. Okay, we know what does that mean. What Allah mean? Tell me. If Allah is a word having meaning, it's not a name. Tell me what it means. Allah has 99 names. Allah is one of them. The rest they have meaning. Allah has no meaning. Why? Can you tell me? I have I, I have an answer. Because Muhammad, he took it from the Egyptian and it doesn't have any meaning in Arabic. It's not an Arabic word. It doesn't matter any of you. Tell me what Allah means. I want to know what Allah means. In order to find out if Allah is a name or not. Mr. Karudi, he said it's not important. He can even change the name or the word Allah. He can take it off. So what Allah means? You're my. Uh, Christian, like I told you, the question is not the meaning of Allah. The question is who is Allah? This is the this is the question. Otherwise, you are just playing with the language. And if you say that the information okay, how you use a word you do not know the meaning of it to describe your God? What if this word? I'm not trying to insult. What if this word is bad? Correct, guys. Like once a, a, a stupid Western guy, he came to my room. His name is in English is Khara. I told him, go change your name. He said, well, why? What's wrong with it? He don't know, which means shit. Excuse my language. So you are saying to me, you do not know what this word means, but still you want to give it as a, as a description for your God? But you do not know what it means? What if it is a bad word? Guys, am I speaking logic? If I say to someone, you are, you know, to a woman, you are beautiful, I know what beautiful means. If I say to her, you are ugly, I know what ugly means. But if I say to you, you are Allah, what does that mean? I uh, don't know. <laughs> so, how you describe your God, how you call him Allah, and you do not know what Allah means? Very simple. You're mine. Uh, anyway, Christian, because you are not looking for the truth, so I told you, so why, for example, how Kurdish people say for the instead of Allah? Because Allah, I told you, but you don't want to understand. They are taking that from their old pagan religion, the Kurdish. What are you talking about? This is not part of Islam. That word never mentioned Islam. Allah never said Khudai or Budai. This is not Islam. This is from your pagan religion before Islam, which is pagan too, and after Islam is pagan too anyway. My question is very simple, mister. Don't tell me it's not important. Don't tell me it's not important. You cannot describe Allah. What you are doing, Khudai, if you go to Saudi Arabia, you say Allah is Khudai, they will take you with they will take you with Khudai. They will send you free shipping and handing it to Khudai. If you translate right now the Quran, or you or you print the Quran, you take the word Allah and you say Khudai, they will kill you. And right now I can go and get you the Kurdish Quran, you will see the word Allah is there, not Khudai. So you guys are playing games because simply you have no answer. Until now I'm asking the question. Very good answer. You say the Christians they have names for their God, and we know what they mean. So you tell me what Allah means. What Allah means? You see, guys, after all this talk, until now, they could not give me the answer? You don't know. They have no idea. So what Allah means? Do this. What, what Allah means? Yeah, Akhi. It's not about giving you the answer. It's you that you can't handle it. 
It's you that you can't understand Arabic. It's you that you don't know Arabic. It's not the same. Okay? So, let me tell you, Siti. You know, you, 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 you are saying that you know Arabic, right? So, this is a simple question. Is Allah love Jalal a Jamid or Mushtaq? Okay, if you answer me this, Bro, you yourself, you are not even an Arab. I can tell you from your accent, I think you are a Moroccan, aren't you? So what are you talking about? I'm asking you a very simple question. What Allah mean? Even even here, the gentleman, he posts for you a verse in the Quran, say, Tabaraka ismullah, ismu rabbuka. What is the name of Allah? Allah have a name. Allah have a name. So what is the name of your God? You said Allah is not a name. So what Allah mean? Very simple. You kept, you kept telling me Allah is love to Jalala. We heard that one million times. We know it before you know it, before you are born. This is not my question. The question is, what Allah mean? Why you Muslims don't admit that you don't know what Allah mean? Just say it. For very simple reason, you took it from other gods other religion you do not know what's mean it's not your own mean it's not home mean it's not an Arabian mean this is not an Arabian God this is a God which is made in the Egyptian land la you took him to you and you use the name the same word without knowing what's mean so what is the word Allah mean very simple question otherwise it's obviously you Muslims are still in the name of other religion God. Like, you know, if you go in the Middle East, we ask somebody, what is the name of your, what is the program you use for your computer? He said, window. But he's speaking Arabic, right? Why he's using the word window? Because simply, it is a program made in America. So you took the program from the Egyptian, the moon God worshippers, you put it in your computer, and you keep using window. And it's the same for Allah. So now I'm asking you, if is Allah, is a word have a meaning for you as a Muslim who speak Arabic? Does it? What Allah mean? Funny how your brain is working, you know. But let me make it, you know, more simple because I, I go so deep with you when I when I said Mushtaq and Jamid. I I'm sure that you can you don't know this. I, I'm sure, but. Okay, let's say Allah, how it sound? It sounds like it's taken from Al-Uluhiyya. Divinity, which is Uluhiyya, what means divinity for you, uh, Christian Prince? And who is divine? God, did he say it looked like it's taken from? Did, did he say that? Did you hear him saying that? It looked like, are you going to give me a, like a surgery now? Is it from there or it's not? What do you mean it looked like? Ah, now he starts thinking, maybe it looked like it's getting from, uh, maybe. Uh, so after squeezing you for two hours, you came to me and to say, maybe it's coming from there? Is it? I want an answer. Is it coming from there? I want you to confirm that. And I will make you sorry for saying such a thing. Yuma. You can't admit this is your problem. You can't admit, and you, you, you take the mic and start commenting what I'm saying. And this is not a good way for communication, and if you want to know, okay? I said, how for you it sounds between Allah and Uluhiyya? Is it, is it close to you phonetically or not? When phonetically? Don't tell me close, not a close. Are you saying that Allah is coming from Ilah? Is that what you are saying? So there is nothing is called Allah? It's just a word taken from other word? By the way, I'm recording, just to let you know. I will make you famous on YouTube. Are you saying the word Allah, is it exists by itself? It's been taken from other word, which is Ilah, your mic? This is why I asked you, if love Jalala is Mushtaq or Jamid? 
that you don't know you don't have you don't have teach me teach me abdul so are you saying the name of allah is coming from the word ilah yes or no and as i said i'm recording you is the word allah not exist by itself and it's just a word taken from other world your mind is it mushtaq yeah the word is mushtaq from uluhiya and divinity it's for god only record it do whatever you want so you are saying the word allah is not important it's just a word taken from other world correct it is mushtaq it is something taken from other world but the word itself is not really important and it's not the name of god go ahead why after this all you say you got it why after the i'm trying to explain to you because you, you don't know what do you know what monem and phonem mean in languages do, do you know about languages do you know what monem is and phonem is you see, after all what we said, you are, you are saying that to me, isn't it funny? Bro, death. So what we learn from you, that Allah is not the name of your God. And actually, this is what I will name the video. I will post it on YouTube, and I will call it a new discovery. Allah is not the name of the God of Islam. And Muslims do not worship Allah. Because Allah is just a word, named divine, according to you. Or let us say you don't even know the meaning. It's saying coming from the word divine. So how Muslims they say we worship Allah? How do you know which one is Allah? Is it a name, or it's just a word meaning God? You said it's a word meaning God. Well, everybody says I worship God. So you are worshiping the God of the who? You have no answer. Now let me ask you, uh, Buddha. As long your God. Uh, Allah has no name. He has attribute, as you say. Allah has no name. How do you recognize your God? Listen carefully for the question. How will you recognize your God? Your mind. Okay, CP. Let's forget about Allah. You have a big issue with that word. I'm going to say, Hada Rabbi wa Rabbukum fa'budu. Have a Rabbi, or a Bukum Fabudu, which means God. Rabbi means God. Yeah, but you say this is my God and your God. When you say this is, it means you are pointing your finger at someone, right? Who is this? Is? Correct, guys? This is my God and your God. Who? Who is this? Is? This is who? Who? Who am I? Okay, good. When it's come to who, I'm going to say the creator of the universe, the creator of Adam and Eve. Well, not the Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says Allah is our God, not the creator. It mentioned in the verse that he is a creator, as he claimed, but always use the word Allah. Dude, let me ask you a very straight question. Is it true that the Quran says it is He, Allah, who created the world? Is that true? It is He, Allah, who created the world? You might. Why you insist on the word Allah? Okay, I always said, yeah, Rabbi who created uh, the world. Abdul, I have a question. I need an answer. Does the Quran say it is He, Allah? Does it say that? It is He, Allah, who created the world? So in this case, it is He, Allah. Is that a person name? Or it is not? If it's not, how do you say it is He? Correct, people? If, if you know if, if the word Allah means just God you don't need to use to say it is he you say God is the one who created the universe there's only one God when you say it is he Allah it's mean you are speaking about specific person his name is Allah 
Do you agree with that, Mr. Bu? So here you are touching the divinity of God. Because no one knows how God looks like, if it's a person or not. You believe that God is a person because you believe Jesus is a man. So Don't change the topic. Your God is a person too. Actually, before you come, we have another Muslim. He was here, and we were showing him a proof that your God, Allah, is a person. Here we go. Let us give it to you. All right? Allah will come to the Muslims in a shape. Who is the one saying that? Muhammad. Okay. If Allah is a word, mean God. Why then it says Allah will come to them and will say, I am your God. Isn't it funny that it says, you are saying that it's mean God, and then he will say, the God will come to them and he will say, I am God. And he is coming to them in a shape. Who is the one who is coming? Who is the one who is coming? Allah. Allah come to them in a shape. So Allah must be a person. Your mind. I don't know because I'm not scholar in that. I'm not, you know, I, I just don't know about this, uh, to be clear. But Jews believe that Moses talked to God. So God. Here we go. Let us explain the Jews. Well, no, not the Jews believe in that only. You Muslims took it from the Jews. It's in your Quran. Musa Kalimullah. You forgot? Musa, he spoke to Allah. That's what the Quran says. But this has nothing to do with the topic. Allah will come to you in a shape. That Allah is a person or not? The one who will come. Allah will come to them in a shape. He have a shape. He have a physical shape. He have body. He have two arms on the right side. All right? And he will come to you. So that Allah who will come to you, he is a person or not? Your mind. I don't know. I have no idea, to be clear. Okay, just to be honest and clear. Okay? I'm not... Suddenly you do not know? What happened? Like suddenly your knowledge about Islam disappeared? What happened? I want to know. A second ago you were saying you do not know, you do not, etc. You know, you want to teach me, and now you don't know? Which is something very important in Islam? Your mic, Mr. London. Maybe Mr. London, he have an answer. Go ahead, Mr. London. Thanks very much. My name is Mr. London, and I am the gay representative of Islam. And may Allah hasten the return of Imam Mahdi for next year's gay parade. And the thing is, I don't know why everyone is insulting Islam at the moment. Um, our Prophet Muhammad, he went to Mount Hira. He was meditating. He was 30 years old, by the way. He was 30 years old. When he hit 50, um, he started to meditate. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, something came. Yeah, yeah, the angel you bring is calling you from the gay club. Divinity of God, because I don't know, okay, why I have to give you an answer which I don't know, okay? May I do study, may I have to know, you know, so why I have to, g I don't know, subhanAllah, okay? So you may ask someone else who have the answer, okay? So how you, do not, how you tell me about Allah, who is Allah, when you do not know who is Allah? Oh, what's wrong with you? You are describing to me all the time who is Allah, and suddenly when I ask you about Allah, you don't know what Allah. So why did not say from the beginning I do not know? Because obviously this is Allah. He is a person who has a shape. He will come to you, and then the Muslim they will refuse him, and they will call him Satan. They will make fun of him. They might throw a tomato and potato at him, and they will reject him. And then Allah, he go back home, he changes his clothes, he changes his uniform, he changes his shape, and he comes to the Muslims. And then the Muslims, they say, hey, you are Allah. Why? Because they like the shape. You have no answer. Let us hear what uh, Gabara, Gabara, you are mine. Prophet Muhammad. 
is split Aisha's ass. Um, my brothers and sisters. Pro yes. Um, the issue is you try to talk about Allah. Um, in the Quran, Allah said there is no such a thing like Him, like Allah. There is no such a thing. Now, if He mentioned that He has a hand, He has um, uh, adjectives like um, others. Now, this doesn't mean that His Allah hand is like our hands because there is nothing such such a things like Allah. So, if He's mentioned like He got heart, He got hands. Yes, we believe that, but we doesn't classify Allah like we doesn't look for Allah in our pictures because in the Quran it says there is no such a thing like Allah. You see, because the amazing answer of Muslims, okay, Allah have hands, Allah have legs, but there is nothing like Allah. Well, how come Allah then He is saying I have hand when the hand is a hand? When Allah He used the word hand. Listen to me carefully, people. If I say to you, I have hand, I mean that I have hand, right? So when you say to me, there's nothing like Allah, but you, Allah himself who chose the word hand, not me. So why he chose to describe his, whatever part he had, by a hand, if it's not a hand? <clears throat> or you want to say to me that Allah hand is a leg, and Allah leg is a neck. This is a very funny God. He is the one who chose the word hand. It means this is a hand. I don't care if the hand of Allah like my hand or not. It's at the end of the day, it's a hand. When we hear the word hand, we mean fingers. Fingers. Arm. You see, we say the donkey have four legs. We don't call the first two hands, correct? We call them legs. So when Allah he says, I have feet, it means he walks standing, and he have hands, it means he grab with them. And actually he mentioned the word fingers too. Allah he has five fingers. Allah has how many fingers? Five fingers. How many fingers do we have? Five fingers. So your God have a face, Allah have a lips, Allah have eyes. Allah has fingers, Allah has a hand, Allah has a foot. Or what you are saying to me, oh, the hands of Allah is unlike anything. doesn't matter. He is a physical being. Why Allah has hands and feet and fingers, five fingers? Your mind. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our brothers and sisters, Muslims brothers and sisters. Now, you come to the idea, you ask that question. Uh, who created Allah? Now, how I'm not gonna say you are an idiot, but Allah is the creator. You have to think about it logically. If he's he's the creator, how Mr. Bara, I'm not asking you who created Allah. I'm saying who is the one who created the hands of Allah. You said everybody heard you, Allah have hands, Allah have legs, Allah have fingers, right? Okay, who is the one who created the hand of Allah? I'm not asking you who created Allah. The hands of Allah, who created them? The fingers of Allah, who created them? Your mind. Yeah, and I'm trying to answer this question. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. The, the, the question is wrong because Allah is the creator. It doesn't have to be created by someone else. You have to think of... All right, just to make it simple, not to waste our time. You are saying Allah, he created his own hands? Allah is the creator, correct guys? Allah is the creator, Allah has hands, so Allah He created His own hands. Is that what you are saying, your mind? A waste of time, you are such a waste of time, an idiot, fool and idiots. And you are trying to run, that's all. Take the mic and answer me. Allah has hands, who is the one who created them? The mic is yours. <laughs> 